how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're amazing. I don't know why, but today's such a nice day, and I didn't do anything. I'm just here. <laughs> but anyway, it's really just nice. I don't know. But I'm going to be doing a book review today for you, and I'm going to be reviewing Shiver. And I really like this book. I was actually surprised that I liked it. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought I was going to be like, oh, whatever. But it was really good, and it was very interesting, and it was cool. Um, so I'm going to just tell you what it's about really fast, and then I'll tell you what I thought of it. So there are two main characters in the book, and the book is pretty cool because what it does is um, it goes between... Grace's point of view and Sam's point of view. So those are the two main characters, Grace and Sam. And Grace, when she was younger, she was attacked by wolves. And of course, at the time, she didn't know that they were werewolves. But yeah, she was attacked by werewolves, and she was actually bitten by them. But for some reason or another, she didn't change into a wolf. And um, she was actually saved from those werewolves by one of them. And um, every year, she would look for her wolf, her wolf, <laughs> during, like, the winter months. She would always see him, like, in the woods. And the way her house is, is, like, right behind her house are the woods. So, you know, it was easy for her to, like, see him and stuff like that. And um, she would always just look out for him and, you know, things like that. And so her wolf is a werewolf, and his name is Sam. And um, the thing that's pretty cool about these wolves is that when it's really cold, that's when they're in their wolf form. And when it's really hot or, you know, the warm months is when they're human. So they change not because of, like, the moon or anything like that, but because of the temperature and the weather. And also, um, they don't, they're not going to do this forever. It's just kind of like... Um, the couple of years since they became a wolf, and they're never really sure when they will just be a wolf forever, you know? Um, but that's like the ultimate thing is that they will just be wolves forever. And so what happens is um, Grace's father leads like this wolf hunt because there was a recent attack um, where someone got attacked by wolves, so then they lead this um, wolf hunt to go, you know, kill the wolves. And um, Grace hears about this, and she gets really scared. You know, she doesn't want her wolves to get attacked or anything. And so she goes out to, um, you know, stop them. And Sam, when he's a wolf, he actually gets shot. And But when he gets shot, it causes him to, like, become human again. Um, and no one really understands it. Uh, because it is cold, and it's going to get colder, you know. So it's like, why is he turning into a um, a human now? So basically, that is what happened, and um, yeah. So I'm going to tell you about Sam and Grace. I really like Sam. I really enjoyed his character. Now, you know, when he's younger, he did go through a lot of stuff because that's when he turned. He was bitten at a young age. And so he does go through a lot of things, but it's not like any, the way that it's described is not depressing. It's not like, oh my goodness, I can't take this guy. He's so annoying. Okay, that happened to you when you're younger, but please. It's not like that at all. You know, you feel for him. You um, empathize for him. And I just really enjoyed Sam. And I really liked reading the chapters with his point of view. I thought they were, like, really cool and um, stuff along those lines. <laughs> and Grace was not annoying at all. Sometimes the female protagonist, oh, I can't take it, is so annoying and so ridiculous and gets on my last nerves. And I'm like, why are you even a character in this book? Or why do you have to be so annoying? But she's not like that at all. She's just a regular teenager going through regular teenage stuff. You know, it's more of like a love story, like a romance that these two um, people like falling in love with one another that it is, like, action-packed. So if you're looking for, like, crazy action-packed, this really isn't it. There are some, like, action scenes, and they're pretty cool, but they don't last very long, and um, they don't take over the entire book. But they're still, you know, really good. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> so 
it's not like crazy, crazy, crazy. It's just more of like romance with like paranormal aspects. Like Sam just happens to be a wolf, and Grease just happens to be bitten by werewolves. Oh, what's also cool about the wolves is that when they're a wolf, they're like real wolves. Like they don't talk to each other in English or like you know any other kind of like human language. I think they're they're talking to each other like how animals probably do talk. You know, they are more of like sending pictures to one another than they are actually talking. So when they're wolves, they're like entirely wolves and they don't really uh, remember being human. Like being human is in the back of their mind, but it's not like to the forefront where it's like, I'm human, I'm human, I'm human. No, it's, you know, they are wolves. Um, I think that's all I want to say. I have like a list, so I'm just going to look at it real fast to check to make sure that Sam is amazing. <laughs> That's what I wrote down was amazing. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say. If I wanted to say more, I'll add it in the description box. But I think that's pretty much it. And I'm reading Linger now. And um, I was kind of, oh, with the way it ended, I was like, this is fine. I love the ending because it's a trilogy. And I'm like, why is it a trilogy? Why are there two other books? I like the ending. That's it. It doesn't need to be more. And I was kind of like, even though I bought Linger before I finished reading Shiver, I was like, should I read Linger? Because it ended, like, I like the way it ended. And it's kind of like, sometimes when you read books in a series, they, like, ruin it. And I was like, I don't want them to ruin it, you know? Um, but I'm kind of like, well, what is Linger going to be about? And then I was, like, looking at the cover. I have it, but it's, like, over there, and I don't want to get up and come back. Sorry. But the cover for Linger is green, so it's kind of like, I think it's like spring is coming, or like they're going to be talking about the springtime, so they're going to, the wolves are going to be in their human form, and then I was thinking, okay, the wolves are going to be in their human form, so what's going to happen? And I was like, oh, there might be a love triangle going on with... I don't want to spoil it, but it might be something, it might be good. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I can read Linger because it might be a little juicy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm excited to read Linger. And I started reading it already, and I was like, it's going to be good. <laughs> so that's my review of Shiver, and hopefully I didn't give you away too much. I don't think I spoiled anything, I'm just you know, tell you about it. If you have read Shiver, please tell me what you thought, um, if you liked it, or if you didn't like it. And if you could rate it, what would you give it? So let me rate it. If I were to rate it, I would give it a 4 out of 5, because I really liked it. <laughs> All right, see you later.